So in a photonic integrated circuit, so as you see here, we have a waveguide, ring resonator, phase modulator, splitter, uh, different coupler, photo detector, lasers. So, uh, but, but the waveguide is a main part of the photonic integrated circuit. So let's look at this simple uh, photonic integrator. Actually, th this picture gives us an idea regarding to the principle of photonic integrated circuit. So as you see here in this picture, we have a laser, then we have a modulator, then we have a coupler here, we have a waveguide here, and the light comes to the waveguide and then couple to the this waveguide, and then we have a ring modulator, and uh, so uh, we have other waveguide here. So in this case, the light comes to this waveguide, and with the ring modulator, light coupled to this waveguide, and we have a photonic crystal waveguide here, and then we have some, we have a photo uh, diode, and also we have a optical fiber. So the, these are the main component of a photonic integrated circuit. So uh, as you say, as you see, waveguides are essential component in a photonic integrated circuit. So actually they enable the propagating of light through a phot photonic integrated circuit. But so it's similar to the, to the wire uh, in the electronics board. But the main difference uh, between the wire and waveguides is that with the waveguide, you can design uh, passive elements in the circuits. So in this picture, you have, you can see the silicon on the top of the SiO2 and uh, the refractive index of silicon is around 3.5 and uh, the refractive index of SiO2 is around 1.5. And this is a simple waveguide and this, uh, red color and blue color that you, you can see in this picture is a mode, waveguide mode, the distribution of light through the waveguide. So as you see here in this picture, uh, the, the light confined through the, through the waveguide. So actually waveguide uh, comes in various forms with different geometry and material. So for instance, in this picture, we have a slab waveguide, we have a reach waveguide, and we have a reef waveguide. So the main thing in this picture, in these waveguides is that the refractive index of core is larger than the clad. And the mechanism of light propagation through the waveguide is based on TIR, or total internal reflection. So now, uh, we need to wave optics to solve for guided modes. So let's look at the equation that can be solved and uh, we can find waveguide parameters. 